All right, so I'm gonna do a quick tutorial about accents. And when I'm teaching about this, I like to start with a little bit of um, just awareness of the fingers. And if you can make a circle with these two fingers, you'll notice that there's one muscle that kind of goes here through your thumb and you can feel that there's kind of a there's a tendon that pulls these two fingers together in a circle and you should be able to do the same thing with every finger and just notice notice the feeling of each one of those fingers now each of those fingers has a different role in the bull hold and the finger that um, is in charge of making that accent sound is this pointer finger um, and the thumb and so it's the pointer finger and thumb squeezing together so if you do this circle here you should be able to squeeze and then also relax and it shouldn't hurt so if it hurts you're probably like really really tense and you might want to take a second I'm really cold super cold outside should have shouldn't have done this in the cold but you should be able to now put your bow back on put your bow hold back on your bow and feel that squeeze between these two fingers. And now they're a little bit offset like that, but it's still this bottom muscle here squeezing and this top tendon pulling, pulling down there. So they're kind of squeezing against each other. So if that gets tired quickly, just do it a little bit each day and it'll, it should get easier because you're building the muscle down here in your thumb. Um, and then it also helps to move your bowl hold here. So we've got this happening, and then we've got these fingers balancing, and the pinky goes on top. Okay, so once we've got this bowl hold set up and you can feel that squeeze, you can try right here in this upper part of the bow, about here, to squeeze the stick so it touches the hair, like that. And then release it. And try it again, squeeze and release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Now you can see that that's really two motions. It's a, it's a, um, I don't know, whatever you call that, contraction and then a, a relaxation. Um, and then we really wanna do it super quickly though. So it's gonna feel more like one motion. Bounce, and it goes down and up really fast. So as soon as you squeeze it, you release it. Let's try that. One, two, ready, go. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. All right, and so again, I can definitely feel like that's a workout for my thumb. It definitely is a workout for my thumb. And we can get those accents here. And it's that same motion, but then you're also adding this lateral motion with your um, opening your elbow. So what I like to try is, let's just do the open D string and we'll put our bow about there and we'll do four of them silently and then four of them with motion ready one two ready and squeeze squeeze ready and play now again and go again Go. Again. Go. One more. And now once you get comfortable with that, um, you should start doing some of the real rhythms and because this is used well it's used in all sorts it's used in every kind of playing honestly but um the real rhythms that you would want to do if you're trying to do saint anne's reel would be and the way i would start is without the accent actually and i would just try to get what we call detache which is this sticky steady bowing and that actually happens the same way with this little squeezing motion. But you just kind of, you put, push the bow down to like half pressure, not like all the way down, but just part of the way. And you try to keep it really sticky and steady. One, two, ready, try it. Once that's 
that's comfortable, then you can start accenting. Um, you can think about it as being in four. It really ends up feeling like it's in two once it goes fast enough. But you can think about it in four. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. And then eventually, you're gonna accent beats two and four. One and two and, and four and. One and two and three and four and. So you're accenting every other downbeat. <laughs> get the idea of what's going on there. Most of the time you just want to be into the string really steady, really sticky. And then when you want more, when you want more pressure into the string, then you squeeze a little harder with these two fingers. And that's really all that's going on. So happy fiddling.